you talked about that in the opening. But this, this is a big story here, the face-off guy for the Toronto Rock. Tonight's face-off is presented by Sports Interaction. And a big storyline on the face-offs, TD Ireland making his debut. The Rock drafted him. They are bringing him into play. I have to think it's a response to going up against Trevor Baptiste, one of the best. Yeah, you know, and, and these guys... In the NCAA, these are perhaps the two best face-off guys possibly in the history of the NCAA, and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. This is the first time I think The Rock has gone out and got an American Fogo, like a face-off expert. He's never That's played box across before. No. He was saying after his first preseason game, or no, sorry, that was uh, another player, but he had not played before, and he uh, is very, very good. He gets the first possession for The Rock, and here's Rob Hillier, the first save by Hillier. Gets a little overlooked when you talk about the elite players in the league. He has done nothing but produce. Um, since you know his first few years in the league, he came in as an 18-year-old, kind of developed his game over a few years, didn't play a lot, but the Orangeville product really exploded once he was ready, and he's been dynamite ever since. Great shot there of Trevor Baptiste's stick with no shooting string, and there's Ireland's stick, no shooting string. These what guys a, are all about battle, the face-off. Nine of the ten players were getting involved in that. Jubinville passes across, what a finish, but stopped by Higgins. Something that he would get caught on a few times early. He's such a smart veteran. He's really improved in that area, and that's what's made him such an ex a, a great goalie over the years. But in that case, you pointed out, he was really high. So it is 1-1 as we touch on accuracy on at the end. Ireland and Baptiste back to the dot. Baptiste with a great clamp and comes away with it. There's Ireland playing deep. That's the question. You mentioned Ireland, the first rock, Fogo. He has been out playing some deep. See how that develops? And, 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 and you, when you allow shooters like Hickey to wind up from there, he's going to score some goals. Well, this Philly team has really improved their offense from that expansion year. And, and let's not forget, Hickey missed most of that year with injury. Yeah, he has fought really hard, battled to get back. And obviously looking pretty good this year, feeling healthy, soft, done. And be prepared, because when the Rocks score in this quarter, it will be Teddy Bear toss time. The Bears will cascade onto the floor. And right now, Erland's doing a job. He's five for six on the faceoffs. A shooter, but boy, he can play the setup game as well. There's Erland's stick. There is Baptiste's stick. We're ready to roll. Wings four, Rock one here at First Ontario. I'm Steven Stamp with Brian Shanahan. Thanks for being with us for the NLL on TSN. All kinds of battle for that loose ball. Matisse gets it. Oh, heads up play to find Isaiah Davis Allen with rock players play. Starting the break with the outlet, Ireland Baptiste at the mark. Baptiste wins it. Ireland all over him, but Baptiste will fight it off. Thought about going to the net. No lanes, we give some Matisse and heads to the bench. Cool. Yeah, you get that little boost when you get the teddy bear goal. Yeah. Now, does that pause the momentum that you've developed? I don't know, it was a pretty elite job of clearing those teddy bears. Here's Baptiste with the ball again. Shoot, saved by Rose, or that could have been a big momentum swing. Ireland gets it, he's gonna run. Looks around, decides to hand it off to Slade. These shooters are so good, the, the guys like Crowley and Hellier that if you give them that space, they are going to burn you. 5-3, the Rock keeping pace. Ball pops out. Oh, Baptiste gets back onto it. Great effort by Baptiste on that battle. Still loose, though. Can Desnu get it? No, Baptiste is still fighting for it. Desnu doesn't get it. It pops out of his stick, and Crowley's all over him. Ball still on the floor, and there's Baptiste battling again. Uh, That's a loose Toronto's ball. Toronto's going to get out of that. Push, yeah. yeah, just a bit early before it was picked up. Here it comes. And it's safe to say a little momentum for the Rock with three goals, three of the last four goals in the last few minutes too. Interesting. We've talked about the faceoffs and how Ireland brings something to Toronto they haven't really had, but. It really has been the team not winning the face-offs who's been scoring the goals. you got to ex execute, although I, in fairness to them, I, I mean, I thought they were much better the last seven or eight minutes of that half. And Matt Sawyer kind of went into the room, fired up, because he been a little angry. spicy after oh, that last yeah. play, he, when he, he felt, felt they didn't get the chance to score. He, he didn't like the slow start after uh, that turnover from the you know, Philly shot. 
Trevor Baptiste is leaning on the stick, pops it out, but it's Brad Creed who's in position to get it. The double team knocks it loose. Every battle, every faceoff is a battle here tonight. Mitch DeSnew comes away with it, switches hands. Well, you know, and, and, and I think Philly realized that the Rock were pulling that play, pulling the goaltender. One man was already running back to the bench, and and then it's like, okay, we better we better stop this big shooter who's open. And uh, nobody thought about Reed Reinhold behind the net. Really, really great play. Well, and Challen Rogers, one of the best shooters on the run in this sport. We've seen him in transition. Here's a chance for Cree, but great trail check from Baptiste. They say push in the back, and the Rock were ready to celebrate. But instead, the Wings will get possession. Oh, no, the Rock oh, no, will the get rock possession. Is. Sorry. It's the push in the back by Baptiste. Trying to take away the scoring chance. Rob Tellier having all day and saying, now, the, you got to wave it off. Well, well, you know, the other thing, if the ball's in the crease, you can't scoop. I think that might be a good goal, too. I think but, it's a goal. but the referee has to be absolutely sure. But that was a skillful play. To, and I'm not sure Paul Day's argument. If, if there's a loose ball in the crease, you can't bat it in. And we've got that goal unassisted at this point. But did, I don't know if that would be, uh, I guess, because the ball was loose. Off the face off, yeah. he'll, uh, yeah. Baptiste wins this one cleanly. He's driving to the net. Out to Matisse. Boy, Jamie Jelks was on. Bill Rock, so he is no stranger to the offensive side of the floor. Obviously very talented. That's Brandon Slade, first goal of this season. Big battle along the boards. Rock slip in and snap the only player on the floor to have more than one goal in this game so far. Another extended battle off the face off. Is and is that one. Baptiste down? That is Baptiste. He has been working hard in this game. And that's going to be withholding. Yeah, he was called with hold. I was, I was, it, it's awfully difficult to get that. It's on the first four wings goals. This one, though, he buries himself. Really enjoy. <laughs> Mac Rambo had him on uh, lag speed on the podcast, my podcast, a while ago, and asked him if he was following the wings. I said, "Wait, is that a silly question? Since you're a Philly guy, he's like, yeah, that's a silly question." Shot by Baptiste off the faceoff. Great dude, Matt Rambo. No, nope, no goalie's going to stop that one. Nine six for the Rock. And we had what five two earlier in the game. So what a run. The Rock are on. You know, and you were mentioning all those. Players and uh, you know the Kufla. Let's not forget uh, Guelph. We have a guy who won a couple of Kufla championships doing our stats up here. The Niagara Hawks of uh, Junior B. Brent Hickey, another Brent great Hickey Junior B. Another alone. guy had a great Junior B career. You're right. Well, Ireland jumps on that faceoff, so Baptiste will get in. So I'll have more updates as they come. Wow, great work! Thanks for that update, Ashley. Uh, glad to hear that he seems to be okay. Uh, smart, real you know, right idea. Put him through the concussion protocol. Big yep. push by Baptiste on the back of three, but no call. Ooh, if he does know. come back in, what helmet does he wear? I, I know, I was thinking that. You know, and whether he comes back or not, the important thing is that it, hopefully everything's good. That will take us to our break. A lot is going on here in first na first two. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yeah. you didn't ask me, but it's a pleasure to yeah. be here with you. Uh, great to talk yeah. earlier in the day for Lacrosse Link, which everyone should go check out, lacrosselink.com, yeah. where uh, you're going to be on in the next Ireland and Baptiste once again. We're going to go back to Ashley on the floor. Another update. Yeah, guys, it seems at this point we're not going to have Higgins back in the game, so the Wings are going to play with what they got, and it's a close one. Two goal spread, very different yep. than the three goal spread yep. with 121 to play. He scores a lot of important goals in his career. Mm -hmm. Such great touch and vision. And on the draw, the Wings immediately take a timeout after Baptiste wins that faceoff. So they will pull Clay. 53 seconds to go. But Baptiste see. will still try to win this faceoff, and he does give his team another chance. It's a great draw, pulling it straight back to Charbonneau. Clayton is just strolling up the floor.